Hi, I'm Noel Farrelly, and I'm here to talk about DMR, Digital Mobile Radio. This is a standard that was talked about over 10 years ago by manufacturers, vendors, and operators of mobile radio systems. They were looking for improved voice quality with enhanced features. They wanted security enhancements and authentication. One of the most important things, channel efficiency through TDMA. So as a result, in 2005, the standard was ratified by ETSI, which stands for the European Telecommunications Standards Institute. So today we have a complete set of standards which cover voice, data services, and conformance testing. DMR aims to provide a low-complexity, low-cost solution to replace analog radio. It defines three different tiers. You can read and download details of the standard from the DMR Association website. The DMR standard specifies the use of TDMA technology. TDMA stands for Time Division Multiple Access. TDMA provides two logical channels in each 12.5 kilohertz channel space. This provides a useful doubling of capacity within the same analog channel space. So tier one, basically is portable units, direct mode, public frequencies used by small groups such as sports people, campers, adventure tourists and so on. So it's a direct mode portable system. The next standard specified is tier two. Tier two is aimed at a direct replacement for analog conventional radio systems, which means it has a degree of wide area coverage. It can work in direct mode and it can use repeaters which would extend the coverage for tier two systems. Tier two is ideal for existing users of analog conventional systems. In other words, they need to have communications across a wider area than the direct mode people. So here we would put in analog conventional replacement. Tier 3 specifies trunking. So the first key feature of Tier 3 is that it's trunked mobile radio. Extends the coverage to wide area and adds many capabilities and functions to a radio system. So we have advanced features such as AVL, workforce management, monitoring and control of the system remotely, and of course we have the advantage of moving people from their existing analog trunk systems to a digital system with more data applications. Replace analog trunk networks. Typical customers for tier three trunking would be people who need large or wide area coverage of radio communications or utility companies who are looking to expand and have data delivery as well as voice on their network. So tier three is targeted for people who need wide area coverage, large workforce with different roles, and also the need for data applications such as SCADA or telemetry across the network. They need remote management capability, and perhaps they need to have a degree of automation involved.